cooking up ham and eggs today, ham and eggs with a twist. Now the twist is, we're not just going to cook ham and eggs. What I did was I went in the kitchen and thought, right, let's have a look around, see what I've got. It kind of needs using up. Grabbed all the ingredients, put them on the table, added a few sort of Italian herbs, bit of fresh basil, and it tasted really nice in the end. So firstly, I thought I'd sort of share the one that I actually did, and also go and have a look in your kitchen, in the fridge, see what you've got that needs using up, and go and make something really delicious. Now I wasn't actually planning on making a video today. I actually came in the kitchen and I was going to make ham and eggs, put it in a little bit of bread and butter, nice and simple. Then I sort of saw my tomato, get a little bit old, but it's a really lovely tomato and I thought, oh, got to risk you this one. Then I added a little bit of tomatoes that have come off my tomato plant. I've got some courgettes there, bought those in the special offer the other day, little baby courgettes, so I'm going to add some of those in. Also, I've got some garlic. These little bits of garlic you almost don't bother with. I'm just going to peel those and any of the bigger bits, I'm just going to slice them down just to give it a really nice flavour. We're going to use some Italian herbs because I think Italian herbs go really nicely with the tomatoes and the courgettes and things. At the end, we're just going to add a little bit of fresh basil. I've got my basil plant there. I've been picking away leaves for various things I make, salads and stuff. And I'm just going to add some of these fresh basil leaves in. Don't forget to sort season it all with salt and pepper. I'm going to use some olive oil, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, but not very much. I've got some lovely bread there. Now I actually bought this yesterday, but it's a nice French piece of bread and I'm just going to slice off the end so it's nice and fresh underneath and it's going to be absolutely delicious with it. Now, I did look in my fridge and I've quite often got chorizo. Now I've got a piece of chorizo here and I've decided to use a little bit of that. Um, I'm only going to use like half a dozen or so slices, but I think that really adds lovely flavour. So if you've got any chorizo, that's always a good one. So it's more a question of have a look around, see what you've got left and you know, have a look in your fridge and just try and make up a nice tasty recipe with ingredients you love. So before we get on with the cooking, I'm just going to wash the tomatoes, chop the big one into quarters, the little ones into half. Now as I'm leaving the skin on the courgettes, just going to wash those, dry them and then we can chop them into slices or cubes and again with the garlic, just peel it and chop up the bigger pieces so that's all done. The little bit of chorizo, just chop half a dozen slices and then what we're going to do is go over to the hob and start cooking up this nice, simple recipe of leftovers. So I've got everything sort of laid out and prepared, all chopped up. Now what we're going to do is get on with the cooking. Now the first thing is I've got my pan there. Now this is almost like a mini wok. Really like this pan actually, you know, things don't tend to stick to it and also it's really easy to clean. Now I've got a lid there because Whatever pan you're going to use, maybe you're going to use a sort of medium sized frying pan or a skillet, as long as you've got a lid, absolutely fine. Because first of all, we just want to sort of soften down some of the vegetables, get the flavours out of the chorizo, add those sort of bits of seasoning and stuff. And then we're going to cook an egg. Now with the egg, we're literally going to crack it in like you would a sort of fried egg, but use the lid to keep the steam in there. And we're actually going to almost like poach the egg. So, you know, I'm still going to get me ham and eggs, but we're gonna have a slightly different take on it. So make sure you've got a pan with a lid. So the next thing to do is just get on with the cooking. I'm just gonna start off a little bit of olive oil. Now as I'm not using very much, I'm gonna use a bit of extra virgin. And again, you really don't need very much. That's all we need. Because we're gonna put the chorizo in there, which I'll just add that as well. Turn the heat on and get it cooking. And some of the sort of fat and the oils come out of the chorizo, so there's plenty of fat and flavours in there. So let's switch it on and get it cooking. So I've just turned the heat on. I'm just going to spread out this chorizo. You know, in no time at all, it's going to smell delicious already. Because this chorizo is just beautiful. Now I'm going to leave that on the bottom there. And then I'm just going to put in the courgettes. So I'm just going to grab the courgettes. put those over the top and then once I've got them all in the next thing to go in will be the tomatoes but I just want to get a little bit of those oils and flavours on the courgettes first and then when the courgettes are softened up a little bit we can put the tomatoes in so I'd say stir it and mix it for about five minutes and then we can put the tomatoes in 
So I've been cooking up the chorifo and the courgettes for about five or six minutes, just starting to get a nice bit of colour on those courgettes. They probably need a little bit longer to really sort of soften down a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the tomatoes next. So I'm just going to grab the tomatoes and just lay those over the top really. Now I've got the tomatoes in there, I'm just going to add a bit of seasoning, so a good bit of salt, got some black pepper, freshly ground. As I say, always do these things for the taste really. I like a bit, good bit of black pepper. And again, I've got this Italian seasoning, so just sprinkle that in. Give that a little stir. Very gently. That's it. And so, you know, really cook that probably for about five minutes. So the first part took about five minutes and we're doing another five minutes with the tomatoes in there. And once we've done that, we can add the ham and then finally crack in the egg. Now I've been cooking for about 10 minutes and don't forget, give it the occasional stir. Be gentle with the tomatoes. You don't want to sort of squash them flat or anything. Just leave them as they are. It's nice when you bite into them. Now I've got all this ham here, so I'll just show you. I'm just gonna sort of literally break bits of this ham up. It's cooked ham, so it's not raw. It's nicely cooked. And just use as much as you feel that you want to use really. And then we give it a quick stir up. That'd be really nice. That'll do. I'll give that a stir up now and get all those flavours coated on that ham. So again, just grab that. Mind the pan because it could be hot. Just very kind of gently, almost like toss it around really. Just swing the spoon over. Now I must admit, before I start cooking the eggs, there's one ingredient, important ingredient that I wanted to add and I forgot all about it. And that's a bit of garlic. So I'll just get those bits of garlic in there. Squash them down the juices. It's never too late. So, a little bit of garlic. I think it really adds a lovely flavour. Cook it for about a minute or two. It doesn't hurt to cook it a little bit longer. Just to get those flavours out of the garlic. And then we'll drop the eggs in there. Now I'm just going to put a couple of eggs in there. Give it a good hard. Drop it in. That's one. Two. Now I'm also going to just pop on a little bit of salt on the eggs. It's really nice. If you do it when it's not hardened, it sort of almost like soaks in. And again, I really like my pepper. Just put a little bit down. Now let's put a lid on there straight away. So I've got all the mixture in the pan and we crack those eggs in there and we've got the lid on there, which is almost like steaming or poaching the eggs. Now in terms of cooking time at this stage, I would say roughly three to five minutes. It depends how you like your eggs cooked and how hot you've got the temperature. Now, my ones just look like they're starting to set, so I'm gonna to have to take a little peek, because even though I've got this sort of glass lid, I can't really see it, but we're about the four minute stage, so I'm just gonna gently have a little peek. I'll let you have a look, and then we'll shut it. Look at that, they look good. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna give them one more minute, so it'll be five minutes, and then that's perfect for me. But obviously, you know, when you've sort of taken the lid off, if you find the eggs not cooked enough, just put the lid and carry on cooking until it's just how you like it. So once the eggs are done, I'm gonna take it out and serve it up. I'm just gonna bring that lovely food to the table and take a look at it and see what it looks like. So let's just take the lid off there and have a look. Look at that, looks really nice. Now, I think before I serve it up, I've just got some basil leaves, so I'm just gonna pull those off. And just kind of throw them on top roughly, really. Obviously it's not essential, but I think it really lifts it. When you've got tomatoes and a bit of basil, I think it's such a nice, fresh flavor. So, there we go. A little bit of basil. And let's get a plate, serve some of it up, 
cut a bit of that nice crusty bed, bread and uh, be delicious. So I've got myself a plate and I'm just going to serve some of that up. Looks really delicious. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to kind of grab some of that with the egg. Some of those bits of chorizo in there. Got a bit of that juice as well. Look, I was going to come into this kitchen and just have ham and eggs and a bit of bread. And I've ended up with something really beautiful, smelling delicious, very simple to make. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of bread and try some of that. I'm just going to cut a little bit of the egg. I mean, obviously, with the egg. That's the thing you've got to get right, you know, you might want it sort of soft or hard, but it's really nice and delicious. However it's cooked, it's going to be good. Let me just try that. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Really nice. Mmm. It's nice and fresh. The courgette, nice and soft. The chorizo really is a good flavour to put in there. You know, you can't go wrong with a bit of chorizo. And what you can do, well, put a little bit on there. And you can just add that, a little piece like that. Let me show you that, beautiful. Mmm, oh. mm. really nice. So good. Much better than simple ham and eggs. So before I go, I mean the main thing I want to say is I kind of come into the kitchen today. I wasn't going to make a video, but I was just going to make ham and eggs and a bit of bread and butter, and that would have been fine. But in the end, made this lovely little creation with the chorizo and got the courgettes, tomatoes, Italian herbs, got eggs and ham. Kind of things that I looked in my fridge and we looked around and I kind of found all these ingredients and put it all together and you end up with something really delicious. So go and make your own creation. Don't let the food go to waste. Have a look and see what you've got and I'm sure you'll make something absolutely delicious. Let me know what you make. Thanks for watching The Original Naked Chef.